What was it like the first time you fell in love, Tom? Was it was it cornstalk yellow and then pompous Chesterfield? It was a lightning bolt. And that's what it should be. A lightning bolt. Save all the thunder. I got you. He was cons reported as being barely audible, um, speaking only when necessary, um, never taking the hat off. Uh, I was just looking at a passage in Thomas Wolfe's final posthumous novel, uh, You Can't Go Home Again. He changes the name, but he's, he's called Foxwell Edwards, or the Fox. That's, it's definitely Max. And he does a sort of imaginative reported dialogue of the way people respond to him. He goes, well, what is it? What's the mystery with this guy? He never offers you his hand to shake. He, he, he never slaps you on the back like a, like a regular fellow. He's, uh, he's looking at you one minute, and then he's walking, pacing around the room the next. He he's, uh, looks at you with that sly grin, never takes that damn hat off. I bet he sleeps in it. Um, and uh, he doesn't answer your questions. Max really was this very sort of introverted, timid, contained individual and Tom was this larger than life sort of fireball who could cry and then laugh and um, uh, be, be incredibly intimate and, and, and tender and then aggressive and blustering and violent so um, it was a case of really sort of you know finding the edges cut that cut that all right we cut the text up we saw a woman cut cut but it was her eyes that stopped his breath in his throat that made his heart leap up. Now cut the words worth. It stopped his breath. Blue they now were. Cut the marine a blue line. beyond blue like the ocean. Cliche. A blue beyond blue like like nothing but blue. A blue he could swim into forever and never miss. Mm, cut this. 